Hello, I'm Eric Hanscom. I'm making this video to go over the steps a client needs to take after he or she gets a trademark. Now, trademarks need to be renewed between the fifth and sixth year. Now, you can go for what's called a simple renewal, where you just renew the trademark, or you can request the renewal plus incontestability. Incontestability basically protects your trademark from outside challenges, that is, third parties who think they're being damaged by your trademark. Uh, against everything except a very, very limited number of circumstances. And so I usually urge most clients to go for the declaration of incontestability along with simple renewal after the fifth year expires and before the sixth year arrives. Now, maintaining your trademark during that time and providing the suitable specimens of use to prove you're still using that trademark, these can be problematic. So essentially, what do you need to do? Well, once you get your trademark, you need to continue using that trademark in interstate commerce for the next five years. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means you need to continue using the exact trademark that was given to you. So exactly those words or exactly that logo, whatever trademark you have, you have to continue using that exact version of it for the next five years. Now, in terms of the specimens you provide to us when we renew that when we renew the trademark, this is also an area where a lot of people make uh, errors. And essentially, you should provide one specimen for each good or service that is included in your trademark, and it has to be an appropriate specimen showing that the trademark is still in use for that product in that class of goods. Now I'm going to give you some examples using a couple of my own trademarks of the right way to do it and the wrong way to do it. As an example, I'm going to use two of my personal trademarks. Both are for Drone Zone in the field of websites featuring drone photography. The first is stylized. It is with a specific font in red with a red stylized drone. The second trademark is non-stylized. That is, the trademark just covers the words drone zone. Let's start with the stylized trademark. What is a valid proof of use? This is a good one because it uses the exact logo I trademarked and is for a website for drone photography. The second specimen of use is also good. Again, a website for drone photography with the exact logo I trademarked. Common mistakes I see clients make are first changing the logo. Here, let's say I added a blue square around the drone and colored in the centers of the two O's in blue. Is this still use covered by my trademark? No, because I've made a material significant change to the logo. So, this would no longer be valid proof of use. Yes, it's a website for drone photography, but the logo is different from the logo I trademarked, so it is not a valid specimen for renewing my trademark. So would this provide a good specimen of use? No. Uh, although I've used the exact logo that I trademarked in the upper left-hand corner of the page, it is for advertising a t-shirt. It's not a website featuring drone photography, so this would not be a valid specimen of use. What about this one? No. This uses the trademark logo to advertise my availability as a speaker on drone photography and drone law. It's not a website featuring drone photography. Okay, let's look at the non-stylized trademark. Will it be easier to renew? Yes, you can use any artistic version of the trademark and if on the appropriate goods and services that are listed on your trademark, any version of the trademark will serve as an appropriate specimen of use. So here we have a new logo that still says Drone Zone on a website featuring drone photography so this one is fine. Because again, with a non-stylized trademark, the only protection is on the words, not any colors, logos, fonts, etc. So to take things to a ridiculous extreme, any of these horrible logos I made up on Microsoft Paint, if placed on a website featuring drone photography, would serve as valid specimens of use. So thanks for watching. I hope this explains at least somewhat the things that you have to keep in mind after you get a trademark before you're going to renew it. And remember, continuous use in interstate commerce for the first five years. Use the logo exactly as it appears on your trademark. If you have a non-stylized logo, 
Just make sure you're using it on the right goods and services. Thanks again for watching. Bye.